big welcome to today's top tips. So remember, we depend on you at home to share these videos. So today we're going to talk about sterilizing your vases, buckets, containers, and getting them ready for your flower delivery. So for most people that are working at home, because I'm always talking about this commercially and from working in a flower shop or for our flower students, but what about the person who's working at home and has, or say just was has flowers at home, not necessarily working at home, and has glass containers? Now a glass container like this, you could possibly put in your dishwasher. I find at home, like the really good crystal ones, it's not a good idea to do it. So the easiest way, we recommend you use Domestus. We're not getting paid commission from Domestus, I wish I was, but um, it's just that it's proven, it doesn't harm the flowers, and if anything, it actually prolongs the life of the flowers. So what you need to do is put a good squeeze of Domestus bleach into your vase. You can see there, I didn't measure it. And the larger the vase, or the larger the bucket, the more bleach I would put in. You can't really overdo it, to be completely honest. Now normally what I would recommend is now put that down into your sink under the tap and fill it up with water. Now I'm not beside the sink here, so I just have a bucket, I'm going to cheat, I have a bucket filled with clean water. So we're going to pretend that we're putting it under the tap, you know that way, and we're now going to fill it with water. So there we go, fill it with water. And the idea of putting the water in after you've put the bleach in, it means then that the bleach gets evenly dispersed, you know that way, well divided, and again the whole vase is going to get sterilised. Now the idea is that you leave that for a minimum of 5 to 15 minutes, the longer the better. And if you want to even leave it longer as an overnight, absolutely. So just leave that in your sink. So obviously we have to kind of like fast forward here, so we kind of like fast forward and the 15 minutes is over and all you need to do now is pour that water down your sink. That way then your bleach gets, ster your, your sink and all gets sterilised. But what you could do, if you had a second vase, you know that way, you could pour that water into your second vase and do the same thing, leave it for 10 or 15 minutes and then that vase will also be sterilised. You normally find out of the same water, you can sterilize up to five buckets or five vases or five glass containers approximately. So we're now going to pretend the five minutes to 15 minutes is up. So we're now going to pour that water either into your next container, there we go, or your next vase or just down your sink. Now you can see there, there's a certain amount of bleach you see left in the, in the vase or in the container. There's no need to rinse that or dry it. Absolutely, just leave it as it is. So if you're ready now with your fresh flower delivery, all you have to do is condition and treat your flowers, probably remove the plastic, cut an inch off the ends on a 45 degree angle and remove any leaves below the waterline. So then what you're going to do is a minimum of half fill that vase with clean water. And you will find all them, as you can see already, they're kind of like, you know, dropping down the vase. All that kind of taint of bleach or bubbles or suds that's left in the vase, that will get re-diluted into the water that the flowers are going to drink. It's not going to harm the flowers and if anything, the flowers absolutely love it. If you do have a sachet of flower food, I recommend adding that to the water as well. Place your flowers in it and then change your water every two to three days. The more often you change your water, the longer your flowers are going to last. But there's no need to sterilise that vase again to at least a week. So you will get the six or seven days out of it. If anybody has any questions, post all your questions in the comments below. I'll respond to everybody. Again, a quick reminder, any chance of sharing this video, I'd really appreciate it. And again, if you have any questions about training to be a florist here at Case Flower School, drop me an email, info at flowerschoolireland.com.